Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. For the last year and a bit, we've been doing weekly PPF Pro Tip videos that have always gone live every Friday morning at 9 a.m. Now what we're gonna be doing going forward every Friday at 9 a.m. is we're gonna be taking those previous PPF Pro Tip videos and we're gonna be doing a deep dive video series into all of them. So this first series that we're gonna be doing here, it's gonna be a four part series and it's gonna be how to become the master of cutting paint protection film. Um, cutting paint protection film, it is a very, very needed skill set if you're gonna be a paint protection film installer. I personally do not believe that you can install paint protection film as a profession and not know how to trim PPF. That's, you, you gotta learn how to trim PPF if this is gonna be your career. Um, the best of the best installers out there still trim and whether they're doing bulk installations or they're doing um, pre-cut templates. Um, all the cutting softwares out there are pretty good for the most part, but there are still some patterns that no matter how good they are, they still require some trimming knowledge. So first part we're gonna do is what are the right tools to have um, when we're trimming paint protection film. Obviously we're talking about a knife and some blades and I'm gonna go over what I think is the best knife, blades, and everything else that you need to be really, really good at trimming paint protection film. Okay, first things first, if you're gonna be a master of cutting paint protection film, you need, you're going to need a good quality knife. My go-to knife is the Red Dot. So first thing I do when I get the Red Dot is I take the factory blade out and I replace it with something much better. But I really love these knives. They're super lightweight. They're reliable. Uh, even if they get wet, they don't rust over time. Uh, if you can't find the Red Dot, another good one to use is these Olfas. These Olfas, you re they require a little bit more pressure to slide the blade forward and backwards than the, uh, than the Red Dots do. But overall, these are the two go-to knives for me. So like I said, we're gonna have links in the description below where you can pick these up. Next thing that you're gonna need is good, good quality blade. So going back to Olfa here, I love these Olfa 35 degree carbon blades. Um, these, these blades, you can do a lot of cutting and a lot of trimming before you're gonna have to snap them off. And I don't know what these cost. Uh, I'll do some research, we'll put that up in the video here so you guys can see. Um, but whatever they cost, it's worth it. Yeah, whatever the cost is, it is totally worth it. Um, the last thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a blade snapper. So don't be one of those guys that takes your knife and as soon as you're done trimming, you go onto the ground and you break these off and you leave your nut and you leave the, the blade cutoffs on the ground. You don't want to do that. You need a good quality blade snapper and Ulfa. These are the ones that I love to have when I'm doing my paint protection film installs. I know there are others on the market that you can buy, um, and I think they all work pretty good. This is just my go-to. So this is the introduction and the first part of this video series. Um, next. Next part that we're going to go over is practice, practice, practice. Um, to become a master at trimming paint protection film is going to require a lot of practice. And I'm going to show you guys what's all involved with that and what personally helped me become really, really good at trimming paint protection film. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more PPF content.